Uh, Bulbasaur is two steps away. Ah, forget it. All right. No more Pokemon for now. We had Pikachu in our sights earlier today. Oh, oh, this this close. And it disappeared on us. It was really depressing. Streaming now, right? right. Everybody. No more Pokemon for now. We had Pikachu in our sights earlier today. Uh, uh, wrong one, sorry. Yeah, that one. And it disappeared okay. on us. Okay. So what, we're not doing colorless white blue. We're doing we're doing white blue. Uh, wrong black. Answer. Okay. I just noticed that it, colorless was the first one. On the <coughs> yeah, it does colorless first, but then it does artifacts later. I personally want to ride organized stuff. I like to do artifacts, colors all at once. Yeah, that that's what I was listening. Way more sense. Okay. So we are live. I will eventually get yeah, into the chat first, to be able to monitor. Later. It's okay, we have no right now. Do you have the ability to ban people? You should have the yeah, ability to ban people. Yeah, you should make me a mod. Hey, you've, yeah. got a, you've got the double... Yeah. I will there we go. Come on. Come on. Alright, so... We are live, I believe. Everybody's silent. Mm -hmm. Like a proper movie. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Do the kick out with no refund. So we're live? Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Sweet. Alright. So, what's everybody? Uh, we got Justin. We got Sean. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Steven. Ooh. His finger is like, Alex oh, yeah. is trying. It's, Alex is bad at mirrors. It's, it's backwards. Right. Yeah, we're, not very, we're not very good at mirrors, I understand. Uh, we got Justin. So, yeah, we're running the deck we did last week. Um, this is going to be our second go round <laughs> with streaming a lot of episodes at the same time. Oh, yeah. it's, so, Alex is bad at mirrors. Here it's we are right. with that. <laughs> this is our Eldrick set, set so review. Eldrick Moon last week. set review for all the white cards. I wish I had one of those like uh, those new these kinds of markers. I could like you're on a green screen. I could like dot. You just I break can, it. I break can, it down. I can do one. <laughs> yeah, this, this is where the peak falls here's, apart. Here's the X for the play, and the defense cuts around. Yeah. So it goes like. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, maybe that's the next step. We just start green screening ourselves and doing like magic. I want to put like get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of this and start green screening ourselves. Just like have like have us like fighting, you know, in the uh, the Frexine Arena. Yeah. Unrelated. Uh, I was in the gym the other day, and they had a. Um, the old uh, Charlie's Angels playing on TV. Like, do, do you remember how bad they used to be at green screen? Yeah, it was atrocious. Like it's, it's it actually like I got nauseous. The one with uh, Lucy Liu and uh, yeah. oh, so and the, the movie, not the yeah, original movie. television yeah, show. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, it was just it was <laughs> awful. They're like playing keep away with some girl like in the city, yeah. and it was just so plainly green screen. Like I wanted just to like punch the TV. This is so much worse than what we have now. Yeah, but it's still a television show. Okay, it was just They're like playing keep away with some girl like in the city, and it was just so plainly green screen. Take up a light bulb that's closest to the camera. I think that might help with the glare. I have a better stand than what we got going on right now, man. Oh, I can turn the light off real quick. Hey guys, so for those of y'all joining us right now, oh, it's, still like it's magic in the dark. Um, hey, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a lot right. better, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just throw that in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> It's hey it's done. It let us down. Right, Get rid so of it. There we go. Right. Throw it out. Now we're not as pale. I mean, hey, yeah. one of us is. Hey, I'm also very. Lucky. He was blending with your it's shirt. It's your shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like I said, I chose the wrong <laughs> shirt for this. I mean, Even though just so happened to be what I wore to work today. All right. Yeah, I'm also very give me give me another week of poke walks and I'll <laughs> yeah, I know. I chose the wrong. Yeah, we're thinking. I say I've been leaving the gym instead of doing cardio and like walking around this park next to my gym and so I don't wear sleeves obviously at the gym so I have this Pokemon Go tan it's just like my arms are like super tan and then my chest is just like a beacon like just long like no ship is hitting this rock yeah dude we got aid coming real quick dude my arms are like super tan and my chest is just like a beacon like just the underside of my arms compared to the outside of my arms gone are the days of the farmer tan you are now on the world of the pokey tan you know what it is because you like your arms are to your side and your phone is right here. So like inside of your elbows and underneath of your arms never yeah, sees the sun because you're just <laughs> flicking. The underside of this finger is super white because it's only doing this flicking motion. You know it's all and you have no time. Time. <laughs> Yeah. Someday soon we'll be able to like never see Yeah, we got get our flex. Just the just this knuckle right here with the tan. Yeah. See those games? <laughs> the vascular games. <laughs> yeah, we got so we're a magic podcast. Yeah, we're a magic podcast. So um, if you're in the chat right now, feel free to say hi. Um, 
probably won't be able to get to your comments as we are recording this tonight because we're trying to go. We're gonna try to do the cards at a relatively quick pace. We'll, um, we'll get to them if they're complimentary. Um, yeah, if you if, if you get in something there, nice, if you get in there salty, then I, I won't. Yeah, as we are so, especially Sean. We're gonna try no, just. Only, only, only with an eyebrow. Yeah. Now, Sean does really like puns, yeah. so if y'all can just put some puns in there, salty, then I mean, like it'll just make his day. We have what 220 <laughs> cards to review, so we have plenty of time for puns. Yeah, so there will be puns just made it unintentional. So much time. All right. Would you say that we have a blessing? Like it'll just make his day. Yeah, we're not even recording for the podcast. <laughs> so on our UFC podcast, you're gonna see how to do a proper a proper nose break <laughs> to shatter this kid's nose. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get, go ahead and start, start the recording for the episode. Uh, we're going to have comments. You know, feel free to put them in the chat. We'll try and get to them if we can. Um, but definitely check out the rest of the set review we're we'll hosting the rest of this week. Um, we're gonna have the squad on camera. On Wednesday, I'm already been talking to them. I've been explaining how they need to uh, keep an eye. Address them, address, and then not. I've said this is a free country, guys. You do you. I might have to not record that one. No, we're gonna record it. We're not streaming it. We're gonna need. We're gonna need to be able to have like a sensor button, like a, a like what is it, a dump, like on the radio. Oh, I think yeah, the dump like, button. There's some. Um, uh, or like some add up, no, something you can cool. add to Twitch that will we're need, we're like yeah. try and yeah. set I think what would be fun is if we put a big like, dump button in the middle of the table yeah. so we can all yeah. arbitrarily dump whenever we feel like it's appropriate. Yeah. There's a plugin for um, for Audacity. Right? I can do. I can do it with you. So we're okay. I think what would be fun is if we put a so okay. So we tell them to test you. Yeah. Don't do that. We're gonna see how good it tests. Yeah. There's a plugin for. You guys want to get started with this? Yeah, yeah. Good. Cool. All right. Well, here so, okay. okay. So. All right. What is yeah, up, everybody? Right. This is out another episode of the EOT right. News so, Flash. This is episode 45. We are climbing the ranks. And there is no illness among these ranks. All right. What is up, everybody? This is our Eldritch Moon set, limited set review for the white cards. We're going to be doing the white and the black, the red, the green, the gold, and the colorless all the rest of this week. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, if you're not watching this right now live on twitch.tv slash EOT Newsflash, I've got Sean Busted Six here with me tonight. What's going on, Sean? How's it going? Good, good. We have Spellcurse Steven here. What's going on? And we have the Count Fork and Wrath, Justin here. What's going on, Justin? What's going on, Cool. Sean Busted Six. Are you guys ready to review some white cards? Good, good. Uh, we have yeah. What are we not we're gonna do right now? And we have the Count Fork and Wrath. We're gonna annoy Sean. No, 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 no. Something, something far more specific that we wish we could be doing right now, but we're not. Uh, playing Pokemon Go. Playing Pokemon Go. If you have not been playing this game, it is so addictive. It's like crap. I've already put 10k 10 kilometers on my Pokemon. I thought you were about to say 10k, and I was like, whoa, dude, settle down on the Pokeball. <laughs> 10k. Yeah. There have been like some funny tweets where people were saying like I've done more workout this weekend than I have in the last 18 months combined. Yeah. My, my favorite is the, is the tweet about um, Michelle Obama's initiative to go out and play yeah. for like for an hour a day. She's been doing that for eight years. It took the Pokemon company 24 hours. I, mean, I think it's a bigger message like the NFL is super big and to play 60. Yeah. And not even their stars have been successful. But this little yellow ball of cartoon is just like yeah. hustling this gotcha. game. Business. I mean, yeah. I've been to the Royalty yeah. Park two afterno afternoons, afternoons in a row now, yeah. and, and I've talked to people. I have. It's it's amazing. I am truly amazed at just how yeah. great this Cam game Newton is. Cam Newton was salty for losing Super Bowl. Imagine when he realized that these cartoon characters are more motivating than you. <laughs> no right. interviews given. Let's go ahead and get started with this review. For me, recently with the ire of anybody. How many how many we got in the, the Twitch right now? I thought I saw three. Sweet, cool. What's in the chat? Hello. No, we have hundred people. Well, 3,000 people. Guys, that's too many zeros. The camera adds 10 pounds, so we multiply by 10. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let's get started right now. Um, if you had a list of one of our stuff we used before, we were off a four point scale. Um, ones are the cards that you will never play. Twos are your filler cards, filler creatures, filler spells. Threes are your um, your key spells for your deck. Um, you'll always make the cut. And the fours are the cards that you open up. They're in your pack. They're in your steel pool to make you go. I'm gonna play. We're gonna play white or whatever card it is. And we'll have you know your steps on all those rankings as well. So um, basically, we're gonna do. We're gonna, start, we're gonna go alphabetically with all the white cards first, and we're just gonna review them. And that's gonna be that. So yeah. 
Pokemon and we're gonna do it again. And again. And again. The next color. And the next yeah. color. Until we're done. We're gonna, we're gonna do it like six yeah. times over. Yeah. It's not, it's not gonna be that bad. For those of y'all in the yeah. Twitch stream, yeah. this is so, yeah. gonna be a long night, but it'll, it'll be worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be many puns. Sean will get very into it. Yeah. It'll be good. So, without, be awesome. without further ado, let us form a blessed alliance. <laughs> so, I for the yeah, better, yeah, 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 well, one, oh, real quick, before we start, before yeah, sure, we start, sure. Um, I want to convey for our Twitch ado, viewers how disappointed we are that you don't sing voice. your theme music because they get to hear it on the podcast. <laughs> so, but these Twitch people didn't get to hear it. Flash! Weird enough, viewers. That was actually like way better than I expected. He's I expected a some like, like half-efforted com- excuse of like, so don't have access. I have a confession to make. I have a queen Pandora station on when I'm in the car by my car. And every other day when I'm in the station, when it's not, you know, we are the champions or you know, any other classic queen song I'm supposed to put on there, I get the Flash Gordon theme song. And I've felt it. So I've been practicing. I'm proud of your lack of shame, and it's really a motivational thing. He'll save every one of us. Anyway, bust the line. So <laughs> one generic and one white instant. It has Escalade. Now Escalade, you can pay um, the cost for the Escalade. They're all different, and you can add on a mode chosen beyond the first one you've chosen with the initial casting the spell. So for one and a white, Escalade two generic. You can choose one or more. Um, target player gains four life. Untap up to two target creatures, or target opponent sacrifices an attack. How do you like this one, Sean? Uh, this card is, is amazing. So uh, obviously your ratings assume you're already in the color. Yeah. This doesn't pull you to that color necessarily. Um, it might, but it probably not it's not spot removal. Uh, but it's an easy three. Uh, the, the fact Escalate doesn't have a color in its cost means that it doesn't have to be a primary color for you to get value. Yeah. Um, sacrifice attacking creatures is amazing. The untapping two creatures, if you can just do the last two bullets in conjunction, whenever they declare attackers, you can conventionally make this card a 3 4. Yeah. Um, which is really, really good. And then the 4 life has some other synergies with a few other cards we'll go over. This card is just extremely strong and limited. It will probably see some standard play. You can conventionally make And it's not hard to put it in your deck if you're in white. Really, really good. Yeah. It's easily oh, splashable too if you're just playing the one white on just whatever turn it is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's easily yeah. splashable. The fact, if Escalate was one in a white, it'd be a whole lot harder. Yeah, some of them but, are like that, but their effects are yeah. significantly yeah. more. Right. Yeah. So, so the, just the, the payoff of it being this more yeah. generic yeah. card that, yeah. that yeah. isn't yeah. very Escalate daunting on your mana is, is an amazing card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some of them are so like that. All right, next we've got Borrowed Grace. This is a two generic and one white instant. Also has Escalate, but for one in a white, you may choose one or both. Target creatures you control get plus two yeah, plus zero until the end of turn, right, or next creatures you control Marvel's get plus races, zero plus two, two and until the end of turn. Also has so even how do you like this one? One in a white. Uh, you may choose one oh, man, or both. Target creatures I'm sorry. Control. I'm plus the one two, watching the zero Twitch stream. Uh, All right, All right yes. yeah. I gave this one a two. Uh, <laughs> to me, it didn't. So it's basically your uh, rally the peasants effect, which is cool, uh, but. It, uh, I don't know, it just didn't right, yeah. feel like I guess this it would do enough in the aggressive deck because you're probably not going to be casting it with so the Escalate. So I think it's just another one of those filler. Like, if I'm playing the aggro deck, I want this. If I'm playing anything else, I'm probably not. Yeah. How wide are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Also, it, it's a little bit, can, it can play both ways. Maybe con- control and aggressive decks will want this. You know, if you, if you need to be able to defend yourself, maybe. Yeah. It's a possible thing. All right, next one we've got, we have Bruna the Fading Light. Um, these meld cards are a little bit goofy, so we will reference them twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot we're scrolling down. Fading Light. Um, Wait, why can't I play these meld cards? I had a few, so we will reference them twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot we're scrolling down. Okay. How was that? Team? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, Drew. All right. Oh, is, is Drew? Oh, is yeah. Drew in the chat again? <laughs> I quit. I'm going home. He's always calling us out when the wings are echoing. So thank you. Um, so like I said, um, I've got these meld cards listed twice essentially. So we can just go over the back side of her right now, um, or the back half of her, I guess I could say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, the meld cards are weird. So this is Bruna, the fading light. Uh, this is five and two white mana. It is a five seven angel horror legendary. 
but with flying and vigilance, and when you cast Brood of the Fading Light, you may return target angel or human creature card you have from the graveyard to the battlefield, and it melds with Gisela the Broken Blade. Justin, what do you think about this? Um, I think I'm going to give her four limited, uh, three, 3.5. Uh, just the fact that she gets the extra value of bringing something that you've already lost back from the graveyard to the battlefield um, is very powerful and, and limited. It's a 5-7 flyer that's hard to beat. Yeah. Um, you're just not going to get a lot of answers to deal with Bruna. And then if you happen to be able to flip her into Brazella, the horrifying nightmare of doom, yeah. um, she has all of the keywords and your opponent can't play their deck. Yeah, so let's let's go ahead and, and touch on Gisela then. I'm going to scroll down to her. Okay, just, this is just for Gisela here. So um, Gisela the Broken Blade, which is the other half of um, Bruna's Melding, um, two generic and two white, legendary creature, angel horror, four three, flying first life lifelink. At the end of your end step, if you bo- both own and control, so there's a mm. ownership clause here that you have to deal with. In some cases, it's probably too narrow to worry about and limited, I imagine. I uh, can't understand. see where there's anything that will make this be a, an issue. Um, and you own both the control, Bruna and Gisela. You may exile them and mail them into Brazella, Voice of Nightmares. And now let's go find Brazella. <laughs> These meld cards make my life I would like so to point out one thing about Bruna you're going to have to worry <coughs> about, though, is her mana cost is high. So while her payoff is also very good, you right. have to survive... And you have yeah. to be playing a late game white deck, which is yeah. probably going to mean you're splashing white, or it's the complementary color. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna, well, she's going to go into a lot of decks. because limited. She's natural, especially in sealed and draft. Yeah, in sealed, not yeah, she will be. Uh, yeah. If, if you're if you're in draft and this card is getting you back a three two, you're not running this card. But if you're yeah. if you're getting back a four four um, with first strike that finds a legend, for example, we might talk about at some point. Then maybe that's a whole lot better. Um, yeah. But with all the melt cards. You're never running the meld card because of the back half of the card. Yeah. Yeah. Put that guy in his sleeve, you're not going to see the back half of that card. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Um, but the front half of her is still a yeah. two for one on a body that, that has, she has vigilance, so she's she gets to start winning the game while saving you. Um, so it's pretty sweet. Yeah. And Bruno. You just has, have to get up there. Yeah. yeah. And and Gisela, the four favorite version, it's a, it's a mini block Bane Slayer Angel. God forbid you flip this together and your opponent can't stop this. You've got Brazella, Voice of Nightmares. Legendary creature, Eldrazi Angel, 910, Flying First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink. Your opponent casts spells with Converted Mask, Canada cost three or less. Yeah. This is game over, I would say. I don't, it, yeah. I don't know what can possibly stop this. If you ever, if you ever flip it. Now, the cool thing is, Bruna flips herself if uh, Gisela's already died. Because mm-hmm. yeah. she returns Gisela, and then you go, now we do this like morph thing. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Um, Obviously, it, it, but both cards, I think, are runnable without. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We, we don't play her because we expect to get the meld, but it's definitely a really strong upside if we do. The, yeah, the meld is, is like a very win-more. Like, I, I'm winning the game because I have these two sweet angels. I'm winning yeah. the game even more because these two sweet angels are this wanderer the big angel. Yeah, they do something really stupid now. Um, now, awkwardly in Limited, um, she she erases the ability to cast mana cost three or less in Limited... A lot of decks are running removal that costs more than three. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, by melding them in limited, you're actually <laughs> opening yourself up to a lot of the removal in the format because yes. in limited, they, they restricted the availability of three or less <laughs> removal. So, she's actually almost worse melded because now you get two for one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, it, and it is incredibly difficult to get them both back in any yeah. way. Uh, and are, an important aspect with the meld is uh, the moment the meld goes on the stack, if, if one of them dies, the other one is forever exiled. Yes. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, because yeah. it, it puts on the stack, exile both, return them back melded. With that on the stack, you kill one of them, the other one gets exiled, and they can't come back melded. Doesn't okay. the same thing happen if you were to, were to have a clone of one of them and they meld, try and meld together? Doesn't it... Uh, uh, I believe so. No, and I, haven't, I haven't read the Q&A. This is what people were saying beforehand. Yeah. I believe so, because then like... So say you have a clever impersonator and it leaves and then it comes back and you flip it over and now you have like like this the head of this angel and the back is just like the the magic back obviously that thing is dead. Yeah, it's kind of I can't like, remember what? if they said that it just can't meld or if it does something goofy like it 
stays yeah, in exile. Yeah, because when you, when you clone a flipped card, it cannot turn into the other version of it. That was something that right. we, we went over with, mm-hmm. with original but the But the wording on this guy is different because yeah. um, it's not transforming. It's saying exile cards with these names, and they both yeah. have these names. So yeah. I believe they, they you just lose them both, but mm-hmm. I'm not positive. You'd have to check the, the wizards. Yeah. Yeah. So very unlikely you'll be able to pull off limited. It's a little bit easier in draft because you can actually build around these. But, you know, like I said, God forbid you get both of these in your deck, and I can't see you losing if that thing resolves. Because your opponent, you probably exhausted your opponent's entire deck.